I don't know. People need to stop doing uh, racial street videos. Yeah. I think the problem is, is that everybody, nobody's good on camera. No one's good. Yeah. Yeah. So it just, everything always looks bad. Yeah. You Except know? for Neil deGrasse Tyson, that guy was pretty good. He, yeah, he was good on camera. He was pretty good. Um, but he, that's his job. Yeah. That's really all he's good at is being on camera. It's not like he's... No, d- he's not a scientist. He's not a scientist. No, he went to college 45 years ago. I know. Well, that was what I asked him, like, uh, after he left. I was like, when was the first, what was your first, like, talking head? And he said he was a grad student still. Uh-huh. So it's like, yeah, I don't... Because I just didn't know. I was ignorant. I said, you know, like, maybe he was, like, Mr. Hot Shit Astrophysicist. And people were like, this is the best guy. We'll talk to him. No, he writes, like, uh, pop sociology or pop science books. Yeah, yeah. 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 Because the other one, Stephen Hawking, he, like, discovered shit. Yeah, he, like, he he did stuff to advance yeah. mankind. Yeah. Neil, like... No, Neil's, <laughs> Neil's just... Neil hasn't done shit. Neil's just our nerd friend. Yeah, Neil's just America's nerd. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Honestly, respect. Yeah, respect. He's kind of a con man. If He's kind know. of, like, in the same... You know, like, we go around to comedy clubs doing an act. He does... He has an act. Mm-hmm. And guess what? His act makes people feel great. But it's weird because People, like, feel like, read something, like, mm-hmm. a, like a meme with, like, a quote that's not even... The right words. It would be like if he was... And it makes them feel awesome. Like a talking head for sports. Like he's like a basketball... He's like Stephen A. Smith. And he has a like basic understanding of basketball, but yeah. hasn't watched a game in The stuff that years. he was dropping in that interview were like, babies know that. Yeah, right. Where he's like, it's your 36th birthday. That mm. means 36... Uh, did you know... Trips around the sun. A triangle has three sides. <laughs> yeah. The, and that's, if the, yeah. Yeah, that's and exactly... The angles it. are the same. Uh-huh. You see? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, A, <laughs> B, C. There's like that part D. that it didn't really make it in really because mm-hmm. we cut a lot of it out because it got really annoying. But he was like making that weird argument, which was supposed to be a pro-trans argument that just ended up becoming like a race race essentialist argument. What? Where, where he was saying how like prejudice is inherent to our like construction of like the. Mac- the, the human body itself, we are inherently prejudiced. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, because he was trying to say that thing about like, oh, because there's two words for two different genders, that does that mean there's two different genders? Mm. But then he like kind of got to a place where he was saying like, if two babies were next to each other, they would immediately start being racist to each other. <laughs> It doesn't make any sense. Which, okay, let me see that TV show. Yeah, that would be a great show. I would love that. He's Racist just describing baby. shorties watching shorties. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I've seen it. There's actually a study. Yeah. And it's shorties watching shorties. I mean, no it's shade Nick to DePaulo. Neil. We really appreciate Neil for coming on. We love him. Yeah, no, I'd love to have him back on more just to say... Just say stuff. Just say stuff. Yeah, about just like, say stuff. And then you go, what are you talking about? Do you, there was one part we That's cut out. That's what he's good at. Yeah. <laughs> With the thing that we, the <laughs> they started talking about the stoplight. Yeah. And I was like, dude, I don't fucking care. <laughs> he's like, if your blood what was green. What color would it be? And if say, your blood was green, would stop be green? Yeah. And then he go, and then he go <laughs> well, what, what color be? He's like, I don't know. I'm just asking a question. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, what a great question. Let me ask you this. If your fucking arms were vacuum cleaners, <laughs> yes. What what would what would fucking mugs look like? Yeah, it's it's just it's it doesn't, it's for babies. <laughs> it's for babies, but it's also for like like baby boober parents, people on Facebook. Mm-hmm. They read that shit. I don't and think my parents know who Neil deGrasse Tyson is. I think my parents do. Yeah, he goes on like Bill Maher and so he goes on yeah, and, and like, uh, he makes people feel good. He makes, hearing him talk makes people feel like they read a book or they mm. learned something. And it doesn't really matter what they said. They're like, yeah. I am being a good enough well, guy I think to I, I, be I, interested uh, in this nerd. I think that, uh, the appeal mostly stems from that kind of that conversation. You know, you kept baiting him with all the atheism stuff or whatever. Whatever that part was. Well, yeah, that people... Is the the whole, like, uh, 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 what would you call that? The, the, whatever, 
whatever that that like uh, like perspective keeping thing that the I fucking love science people do. They're like, oh, you, you're this this big in the world. This. Oh yeah, like um, right. Is it, if it every grain of sand it operates, lays or every planet on the on it, the in the lays, universe, yeah, like yeah, existential dread that derives from just uh, narcissism, basically. Yeah. yeah.